So as far as Bitcoin goes, we're looking at a market that has been consolidating over the past several months. This is a bearish consolidation considering the downtrend that we've been in since the market put in a record high back in the fall of 2021. Now, when we consider the fact that this is a consolidation and we consider the fact that this is a bearish consolidation, then the door is, of course, open to deeper setbacks. When we look at the idea of where we could head if we do see deeper setbacks, we like to look at the market and consider the possibility that markets do like to move in measured moves. So considering the current yearly low at around 17 600 and the recovery high that we saw uh, back in August, which took us up to about 25,200, the distance between that low and the high is about $7,600. And so, again, considering markets like to move and measure moves, if we do see a breakdown below 17,600, the yearly low, that would open a $7,600 move, measured move downside extension, which could take us all the way down to the $10,000 area. At that point, we think the market will then be looking for a meaningful base ahead of the next big upside extension and we do see additional setbacks limited below 10,000 but again considering the bearish price action we can't rule out the possibility for deeper setbacks and those deeper setbacks could take us down to the 10,000 area before the market is finally ready to bottom out as far as resistance goes again it's that August high which comes in around 25,200 we need to see a break back above that level to take the immediate pressure off the downside